Jolly Green Giant Wave. <laughs> it's Gladiator Hulk. I know what it is. Shit. Thor Ragnarok. Whatever. Um, Loki. Uh, now, I have to say, I missed out on the first Loki from the Avengers movie. Although I've seen that compared to this, and it looks like total crap in terms of the likeness. But I would not mind having that figure and seeing this head would fit on there. But nonetheless, um, his crown... Pretty much is his only accessory, and it is removable. You can pop it off. I like the crown. Some people don't like the crown. I like the crown. I wish it was made out of a little bit uh, stiffer plastic, like a uh, Hella's horns, but eh, it's either here nor there. It's easy to put on. doesn't scratch the paint. This likeness, though, god dang, that's really, really good. I cannot remember this guy's name for the life of me, but... Man, that's probably one of the best likenesses um, <clears throat> on a $20 action figure that I've seen uh, outside of maybe Diamond Select. Um, obviously, it's a little bit better. Uh, I'd say last year, they were starting to get it down with a Cumberbatch. This year, holy crap, they've been doing really good uh, with likenesses. Uh, Basically, um, Doctor Strange was the start, and then I'd have to say Star-Lord was the next good one. Gamora, uh, the Drax was always good. Well, oh, he's got the tattoos and stuff. Um, just, uh, the Scarlet Witch, even the Black Widow, those would probably be the best ones, and then, uh, the Thors seem to do uh, pretty decent for some reason they just can't get a uh, Captain America for some reason Chris Evans <laughs> but um man they nailed it with Loki they really did um and speaking of which his cape just pop a cent off mine doesn't have some of the issues I've seen but his cape does like to pop off uh, how it connects is kind of weird he's got two little peg holes on his shoulders and that's how the cape pegs in why they didn't just opt for a uh, peg hole on his back i'm not sure uh or better yet all three have a peg here and then have a peg on the shoulder pads Or just glue the thing on. Um, I know a lot of people probably just going to glue this on. But if there are people who don't want to display them with that. It's easily removable. Uh, mine doesn't exactly pop off. As easy as some people's. Because I did bend it. That one side down a little bit. And I do have his uh, hair over top. But uh, without the cape he doesn't look too bad. Even if you put the crown on him. He still looks... Uh, like quite the dapper young fellow. I like him without the cape too, but I'll probably display him with it because it's Loki's thing. And is this a new look for him, I assume? This uh, blue? I kind of dig it. The gold works. That's carried over. I kind of prefer the green because that's kind of Loki's thing, but I'm down for new looks. That's not a biggie. But I guess we'll get into articulation. His head will rotate. It's got a bit of a rock to it. Can move a little bit 
on the ball pig itself, but the hair, since it's so soft, you can actually look up a decent amount. You can look down a decent amount. You can look back up. His ab crunch, just totally mother. <laughs> he can bend really far forward. The only downside is it looks like crap from the back. Absolute garbage. That looks horrible. But with the cape on, you don't notice. And then it does the same thing, and yeah, it just doesn't look good. Uh, I mean, I guess with the back, you have the cape to hide it, but still, it's not exactly the cleanest look, but it is really effective. His waist will rotate. It is covered by this uh, tunic piece here. His arms will move out a decent amount. I think his shoulder pads, yeah, they don't exactly go underneath the... Uh, socket there so the shoulders only move out that far they rotate full 360 he's got a swivel at the bicep double joint at the elbow really good double joint really good double joint he's got a swivel at the wrist with a hinge probably some of the best hands in terms of expression i've seen on a marvel legends figure i really like that his hips, you can uh, scoot this thing up, which looks kind of weird. It's all I'm wearing a little dress. Uh, his hips only move out that far, so you might as well just leave that down there. And then uh, you can also hike it back up to move him forward, almost a right angle. But again, it looks kind of stupid, so you might as well just leave it down. Die cut. Almost hidden with this skirt piece, but not too bad. Double joint at the knee. Nothing at the boot, but he does have a rocker joint and hinge at the foot. So, um, yeah, Loki overall, not a bad figure. Um, that ab crunch, though, that's really... That's the real downside in terms of uh, the physical aspect of the figure, is it looks absolutely atrocious when you try to utilize it. But, uh, in terms of function, it's fantastic, and I can see why people are going to like this figure. In terms of posing, uh, me, I typically like form over function, so... If it looked cleaner, that'd be a different story. I will give it kudos, though. It does have a lot of range. But in terms of function over form, the form of the cape is really good. I like it. But the function of it actually staying on is a little tricky. Uh, I had to pull him behind camera here so I could get his gear on. But, um... Yeah, that and his crown is a little bit loose, but not a deal breaker. You can uh, you can leave the crown off, and you can uh, glue the cape down if they bug you enough. And uh, here he is next to apparently his mommy. Uh, now I remember her name, Kate Blanchett, but that's because I've heard her name probably twenty times in the past two days. Um. Who is probably the second best figure of the wave. Maybe first, I'm not sure. But uh, she is really cool looking. And uh, her antlers are done extraordinarily well. Aside from the few that are on the top here. Other than that, she's done really well. And looks really close to the comic book uh, version. But apparently she's his mom. But in the comics and in the actual uh, Norse mythology... I took a mythology class, so I'm going to give you a brief little lecture here. Hela is the daughter of Loki, not the mother, so... Uh, I think the reason they are making her the mother of Loki is that... Uh, she is going to be replacing, I believe, is it Mistress Death in uh, the MCU? Which, I'm okay with that. They're practically the same thing, but... In my head, I'm like, okay, that works, but my brain, I'm just like, it's not accurate. So, 
I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to just give a little guess here. I have not seen the movie. I think Loki's going to... Um, just a sinking feeling I have. Uh, I would not be surprised, uh, considering the fact that he has turned into a good guy in this movie, essentially. Unless he turns into a backstabbing little bag like he used to be um yeah so with that being said i'm gonna give this guy a nine out of ten again really good figure but has a couple of technical aspects i would have liked to have seen done better other than that that's all i gotta say so with that being said hope you enjoyed this review and until next time i'll catch you guys later